Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome and looking behind me here you can see uh, a Jaguar E-Type 4.2 Series 2 2 Plus 2 manual, uh, which is rather lovely and a genuine two owner car from new. We're going to do a walk around video of it now. Um, the driving video is already uh, on YouTube. Hope you like them. So, walk around this uh, um, two owner from new, never rebuilt E-Type Series 2 2 plus 2, 4.2 obviously, uh, manual. Uh, with the say, uh, two owners from new, last owners had it since, oh, I think 1978 from memory. Um, finished in powder blue, and it's the original colour scheme with dark blue leather. Chrome wires, um, wheels and tyres were new, I think about three years ago. Now being an original car, it's never been, never been a part, as far as we can see. Uh, and it's never been completely repainted. It has had paintwork over the years, as you might imagine, given its age. But, um, so there will be blemishes on it, but it's just a really sort of nice, honest car that drives absolutely beautifully. Now, starting from the front, the chrome is original. So we have got some uh, little specks of rusting coming up there and around the uh, the Jaguar badge and a bit of pitting here and there but it's it's you know considering it's it's over 50 years old it's in pretty good shape but as I say I would say it's original same goes for the light covers and everything paint on the bonnet pretty good bit of orange peel on the slats on that one especially and a little bit on that one. As I say, I'm not going to go through every single blemish, otherwise we'll be here all day. But, um, you know, it's not, if you like, a freshly restored example. Um, it's one that's just had work as and when necessary over the years. Near side arch. And looking down the near side sill there and then up here a little bit of delamination on the off side of the screen but the near side is all pretty good you can see up here obviously it's had the roof painted at some point so a little bit of overspray on the rubber here and then down here passenger door got a few areas where the paint is just starting to come away slightly at the bottom of the door. That's where we've just had a little bit of paint work done. Obviously didn't take off the, uh, the residue. Um, we had to have the bonnet repainted because a customer managed to put a dent in it. Didn't realize how long they are. Um, Interior wise, as you can see, we've got an area that's been repaired just there on the uh, on the sill trim. Dash is all nice and correct. The um, the eight track player we're told doesn't work. The radio I think does though. Headlining and rear seats. This is the only E-Type really for me. I'm six foot six and it's only really two plus twos that I can drive um, easily. Plenty of room in it for me, but uh, I struggle with fixed heads and especially flat floor ones. It's impossible for me. Near side rear arch. See a bit of mud there we didn't clean off after its test drive. Um, near side rear valance. We've got Obviously, I'm sure, again, I think the tailgate has been repainted. So I think the whole car's had paint work at some point over its years, just never at the same time. A um, couple of blemishes just there on the tailgate. And again, the rear bumper, especially there where the chrome is just starting to lift slightly, is original. In my opinion. Looking down the offside, again, looks very straight down there. 
offside rear wing has got a couple of tiny blemishes in it. There's a little crack in the paint, a bit of swelling just there. And looks like a very tiny scuff just here on the edge of the arch. And you can see the back of the valance there is just a, not quite a, not quite as factory fresh as it might be, shall we say. And we've got a blemish, just a couple of blemishes just here on the offside rear valance. Um, See a bit of micro blistering on the driver's door. Side front arch. Get a bit of delamination on the screen just there. And then inside, again, driver's door card. Carpets are nice, I've just got slightly dirty feet, I'm afraid, so it's made the mat rather dirty. Leather's in nice original order. Original steering wheel. Bit of discoloration on the center console there. But as I say, it's it's not an E-type that's been derelict in its life. It's just been garaged all its life and well looked after and not restored. Unusual to find these days. Anyway, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com.